I've been using the Razer Plus for a couple of days now. I have some thoughts, most of them positive. I've really been enjoying the experience with this phone. Some things that I really like. So the first thing that I really like is the haptics. Uh, the haptics on here for typing are actually way better than you would probably think that they are. They're actually a really enjoyable typing experience. So uh, I will give Motorola some credit there. They did a good job. Now, another thing that I like, so I didn't think about this. Whenever I use the Z Flip, it's really kind of annoying when you have the phone closed. You can basically never find or press the power button like you need to. But this one, very thoughtful position because when it's closed, it's right up here above the volume button. It's like right where your, your finger naturally will fall. And it works well. The fingerprint sensor is built in the power button. It's very easy. All the time, I'm just, boop, it's right there. It's good. Of course, facial recognition, that's fine as well. Now, the front screen, it's quite enjoyable. Uh, it makes for a really nice experience because there's a lot of those moments in life where you're like, okay, I've got a notification. I've got something going on, on my phone here. And you don't want to have to open up the phone, pick it up, all that good stuff. All you have to do is just, well, tap on the front screen. You can take a look at it. So it's nice having the ability to do that. And then you swipe through the menus and you have, you can have different apps that you load that you want to be able to open from here. So let's say Twitter, this is what Twitter looks like. <laughs> it's, it's pretty, it's pretty condensed. So you have to kind of scroll down on it. And one interesting thing when using Twitter on here, 3.6 inch screen, um, Whenever I had my BlackBerry Q10, it had a 3.1 inch screen. My BlackBerry Classic had a 3.5 inch screen. The iPhone original ones had the 3.5 inch screen. So it's just funny now. We have a second screen on the front of this phone that's the size essentially of what we used to use back in the day. So uh, very interesting there. Now, I I've heard some complaining. Some people don't like that the screen flows around the cameras here. I think it's fine. I think it's pretty innovative actually. I like how it kind of just works it works really well if not you can adjust it to where it kind of cuts off you got the bar there so that's fine as well but really and truly i think that it's good i i like how it is everything's nice and responsive there's this game on here called stack bounce everybody's been talking about my high score is only fifty thousand right now but it's very interesting because you just tap on the ball you see the colored areas there i'm playing this in reverse <laughs> so you just tap on it and the ball goes down you clear out the little pylons it's kind of interesting but there are quite a few of these games here on the front of the screen that you can use open up your apps you've got some widgets things like that of course i, I like to have the weather so the front screen really is what makes this phone but the inside screen is perfectly fine too i really like the high refresh rate 165 hertz 6.9 inch screen full 1080p it looks nice right it's nice it's clear of course you can see the crease there but it's quite shallow and it's not quite as sharp as the way Samsung does it. It's kind of like the teardrop thing. Whenever you close it, it kind of bends back in a little bit, but it seems to be fine. And of course it shuts flush, which is nice. Now I don't do any of that crazy stuff where I flick the top open. Some people were saying that you can feel some wiggle. Uh, I haven't really noticed that, but I'm also not flicking this open like a communicator on Star Trek. So I don't know. Um, maybe as I use it with some more time, but the hinge is nice. It's flat, almost kind of flush even. I think they did a good job. Now this magenta, pink, whatever, Pantone, different color names they've got for it. I like it. I think it kind of stands out. Another thing, there's just really not a whole lot of accessories for this. And if there are, they're kind of expensive or they're just no names. I'm waiting to get a decent case and a exterior screen protector. I might even go with liquid glass. Um, I'm going to do some more shopping and whether you look for Razer 40 Ultra, which is the international name, or you look under Razer Plus, there's not a whole lot of anything out there, even like on Amazon. So that's very frustrating. Hopefully some stuff will populate. There's a Tech 21 case that T-Mobile sells, but they want 50 bucks for a plastic clear case, which I ain't about that. They're smoking a bunch of rocks over at T-Mobile. I'm not, I'm not paying that. But also they wanted like $40 for the exterior screen protector. I'm like, how are you going to charge $39.99 for this little exterior screen protector? And then you're going to charge $49.99 for this clear plastic case. Like you, y'all bought the farm. Like you guys are way off in left field right now. So uh, I'm trying to find something a little bit more um, affordable, makes a little bit more common sense, kind of reasonable price. So we'll see. I'll keep my eyes and ears out and see if I find anything. I'll share it with you all, of course. But yeah, I think Motorola's done a great job with the phone. I've really been enjoying it. 
It's nice. It's sleek. I thought I was going to be more disappointed. Like, I really like the razor look. But to make that razor look bigger, I think it would make it more bulky, less slim, uh, kind of less sophisticated and stuff. So I understood them having to change it and make it look a lot more like the Z Flip. Uh, it just, the old body design was a little bit kind of restrictive with what they wanted to do, I think, moving forward. Stereo speakers are fine. I wish they got a little bit louder and maybe had a little bit more depth. Uh, Samsung has a little bit better speakers. And also, a lot of people talk about the cameras. I haven't really messed with them a whole lot that much, but here's the thing. Here's my take on these cameras. It's not the biggest selling point. Um, everybody, The big selling points for this phone are the compactness, and then this one, the big selling point, is the front screen. That's the big selling point over Samsung. We get the same thing. So if you hear people say, oh, the cameras aren't that great, they're not great in any of the flip or fold phones. Like the Fold 4 is a pretty decent one. But when it comes to the Z Flips, when it comes to the Motorola's, when it comes to the Z Folds, they usually have smaller sensors. Why? Because you have to make these form factors so thin. You take a look at the S23 Ultra and it has a lot of depth. Like it has a lot more depth in the phone and you can put those big telescopic photos. You see how much the lenses pop out that allows more space. So you just can't have something like that inside of this these small thin form factors it just doesn't really work out unless you have stuff pop out but they really want to make it as slim as possible do they take good photos yeah pretty much anything in the last couple of years takes good photos during the day decent lighting probably have some issues when it comes to low light you're going to have some differences because samsung likes to oversaturate things make colors pop out maybe the hdr and i'm going to cover more of this in my full review but look the cameras are okay and that's pretty much the mantra for flip and fold phones. Like, they're good, but they're not S23 caliber. They're not S23 Ultra caliber. They're not iPhone 14 Pro Max caliber. They're not Google Pixel 7 Pro caliber. They're just not. So, but that's not... Most people who are buying this are not camera enthusiasts. You're, you're buying it because you want the cool form factor, the cool experience, the minimal form factor, open it, close it, flip it, all that great stuff. And then, of course, the great exterior screen experience is on here. So... I, I like it. I, I've really been enjoying it. It's a nice, refreshing take. I love the flip phones. I had the Z Flip, Z Flip 5G, Z Flip 3, Z Flip 4. I'm going to get the Z Flip 5. I had the Motorola Razr 5G. I've got this now. I've got the Oppo Find N2 Flip. I like this stuff. And I think it's just going to get more and more mainstream. I'm glad to see Motorola come out swinging and make a good phone, make it affordable. Yes, $9.99 expensive, but if you look around at the different carriers, they've got such amazing incentives, like with AT&T, don't have to trade anything in, get it for five bucks a month, certain plans. With T-Mobile, certain plans, you can get it for free or 500 bucks off, thousand bucks off, depending on what you trade in. T-Mobile, if you got the Magenta Max or that new five, whatever, that new plan they have, uh, if you trade in an iPhone XR, a 10R, you can get a thousand dollars trading credit, you get this for free. That's insane. You can get one for like 170 bucks off of eBay. So Motorola is really trying to get this out there, get people to adopt it, especially before the Z Flip 5 gets here. And I think it's a really good phone. I think it's competitive, and I think it really puts Samsung on notice for, okay, this is the new standard. Either beat it or at least meet it, and that's good for all of us. So that's all I've got in this video. Um, probably tomorrow my Pixel Fold is supposed to be here, so I might have a delayed video tomorrow afternoon. Depends on what time mine gets here. Since it's UPS, it'll probably be 6 or 7 o'clock in the evening, so we'll see what happens. But I, I'm enjoying the... we got a lot of flip and fold stuff coming up. Flip and fold, not flip and fold. But you can say it both, I guess. Anyway, we got a lot of cool things coming out. Uh, if you're interested in the Razor, if you got one, please sound off in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Also, there are some videos out on the Pixel Fold already, so be sure to check those out, I guess. And then, well, mine will be here shortly. So that's all I've got. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button. And the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you guys next time.